My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time out of your busy day and being with us so far. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody and let us know where you're coming in from. Okay, thank you first for having me. I'm from uh, originally from Louisiana, but I reside in Dallas, Texas now. Um, and I, for a living, have studied e-commerce, um, I guess how to make sales off branding and monetizing yourself. So I'm giving back to the community where I take on um, so many people and teach them kind of the ninja tricks of what we do on the back end. I guess what the geeks, our pretty geeks do on the back end <laughs> um, awesome. to help them uh, get to where they need to get with uh, being an entrepreneur themselves. Awesome. So let's dive into it. Think and go rich. I know you got your own favorite principles. But let's dive into faith and auto suggestion. I know those two you're going to talk about today. So take it from here. Okay. So I, not recently, but everybody goes through the back and forth of life where you feel like you're in a rush. Yes. Uh, think and grow rich. You're in a rush to get to the end goal. And people don't realize, which I had to learn too, that we're taking in so much information daily. Um, with social media, with the radio, with music, that you don't understand that some people don't know that the st things that you listen to, they're actually planting seeds in your mind. Um, and what you think and what you listen to, you rehearse those and that starts manifesting in your life, even the people that you hang around. Um, so with faith, and me being, of course, Christian-based, uh, too, I waver in it bad. And, of course, if you're speaking to friends that are wavering in theirs, too, you it's a vibration that it teaches, this energy that you give off on each other. And just like you can feel others' vibrations when they're nervous, when they're mad, when they're sad. And you know how we make the joke about, oh, I just don't like your energy. I can't stand your energy. Her energy is off. It's true. Um, so with the i guess with the faith of the book too also going over it, it says about a self-confidence formula um mm -hmm. so this book is all about if you need a reset from all the things you've been hearing the trauma of your life of what you go through um it's helping you manifest wealth and getting out of being broke and hanging around people that are depressed that always are negative um, that you don't want to surround yourself with those people. Um, and I don't know if you want me to go read the self-confidence formula. Um, yeah, I think everybody, we should leave that for them to go and check out okay. the book and, and read that. But here's my question. Yes, I understand. So if you want to build faith, I mean, I think you wouldn't be an entrepreneur if you didn't have some type of a level of faith in yourself and in, in yes. what you're doing. So you got to have a little bit in there. It might be small, it might be little, but you got some. So here's my question. What are a couple of methods that you use to build on, on that faith that you had to make it stronger so when the turbulences, challenges, difficulties, or negative people come around, you're able to, mm -hmm. you know, still survive? Um, for me, well, this isn't my second rodeo. I first started in the beauty and hair industry, um, and I was self-employed for five years at 21. Um, so it's vital to write down those goals first that you set for yourself. So when things do happen, you can go back and read them. Um, and then also when you do have faith, faith because you're manifesting things around you, uh, God or I don't know how people believe in spirits or whoever, you know, they believe in, in those um, wonder signs and miracles, he'll bring them to you where it'll be a constant reminder, like, okay, I'm getting close. I'm getting closer to that prize. Um, and you know how we say, oh, this just randomly happened. No, things don't randomly happen. Those are those reminders uh, to keep you going, to keep pushing, straining towards that goal. Um, and even when maybe people do say, you know, try to say things on, on you or even about their self, um, you should snap out, get them to snap out of their stinking thinking, like people say, and fix those words. Like, no, I'm not, you're not sick. You, you are healed. And these are the steps you need to do. Sometimes you just need to rest. Sometimes you need to drink water. Um, sometimes you need to just tune everything out, turn off the TV, 
turn off your phone. Like lately, I've been doing um, one of my friends, a Chelsea. I don't know if she's watching live now. She's been teaching me how on your iPhones you can put do not disturb and how you can put certain people um, in that category to put them on do not disturb also. So if they're not, you know, kind of in your faith walk or where you're at mentally, sometimes you just can't talk to them. It's no offense. It's just that you're being shifted from one level to another level and it, you don't want people to tamper with that because it's vital to get to that next level when you're in in that in between phase where you feel like you're going crazy um but you're seeing all those signs that okay something's aligning something's happening for me i agree with that i mean although i'm a little bit different maybe i like <laughs> sometimes to get negative feedback also too because i could take that and use it as a fuel so if oh, someone comes like and says you can't be done you know it can't be done or this is not possible or nobody has tried this you know anything along that side i'll take that as a challenge and i'm like okay if nobody has done it or nobody had these type of you know feelings or this is strategy why can't i try it and see if it could possible so sometimes you just got i don't think it's about what they say i think it's what you take in and how you show up for that challenge i think that makes a big difference but that's not easy Sometimes you got to watch out because negative people could definitely bring you down. Exactly. Yes, and then I guess it's a difference when you're touching on the lines of construction uh constructive criticism versus negativity. Now, yes, constructive criticism is I don't know in this industry like with social media probably depending on what you're doing brand and marketing with mine I can't take constructive criticism from everybody because a lot of people don't know what I know and it's no offense to them but I do listen to you know their opinion about it but it's like in the end I kind of have let that affect me too where I've getting gotten distracted also but that's why you go back to whenever you got distracted like right now I'm going back to 2017 um, to learn where I got off track uh, because I'm like, I knew what I was doing correctly, but life got me off, you know, my current goals. So that, it just depends on what you're talking about. Now, if it's life, yes, you can hear the negativity. You know, people have their opinion to help. But it, in business, it's kind of sticky. That's why you need a mentor. That's why you need, um, I guess, like with these private groups that they're creating, um, keeping that community, because because there are people that have been where you are that can actually give you constructive criticism to your business. Life is a whole different thing. I agree with that. Having a being part of a mastermind group is, I think, is one of the most important keys as a matter of fact, Dr. Hill talks about mastermind groups within the first two pages of Thinking Go Rich, but a lot of the books are missing the major two, the first two pages. Um, so you got to go back and find the original ones. I do agree with that 100%. My last question for you. Mm -hmm. If somebody has not read the book Thinking Go Rich, why should they go and pick up the book and read the book? Um, they should especially get it now. Um, with the holidays coming around, you're going to keep seeing the same commercials, the same ads. They're going to play certain kind of music to kind of get your mind to be twisted to whatever their end goal is. So it's crucial, too, because it's about to be a new year and everybody feels like, oh, I'm going to be a new me. But they don't. They do the same thing. So reading this book, it'll really give you a mind reset um, to read. Like, I guess re-strategize everything around you. Um, so it's really crucial. And I have the original, my mentor, like before y'all even reached out, she gave me the actual uh, book too. And it is one of the originals. So when you came out, like I was talking about confirmation, I was like, okay, this is confirmation that <laughs> I need to read this book and really take in <laughs> what's going on. So that was one of those signs, wonders, and miracles. Like, okay, something's about to break <laughs> because y'all reached out. So, yes. Like, it's it's so funny something. that you say that because I, I, V caused, me and my team caused a lot of the gurus who have read the book, utilized yes. it in the past, actually go back again to refresh and then yeah. when we have private conversations, they're like, listen, if you wouldn't have reached out to me, I would have not read the book again. But then the fact that I'm reading it right now, I realized how much I missed. Yeah. And I took what I needed to take, but then I could have took more. 
but I wasn't prepared for it. It wasn't the right thing. Exactly. But now when I go back and I reread the same materials, I'm all like, wow, I can use this. I add this, subtract this. So a lot of good, exciting things happen for people. So listen, we're just putting it out there. Your success is our success. Our success is it's all one community. Doesn't matter if you're in Texas or not. You know, my sister is in Houston. So Texas is all right. It's cool. I mean, I'm not a big <laughs> fan of the weather. You know, I'm not I'm not a big fan that you guys can carry a gun outside. I'm I'm in LA, we're more civilized. Oh, we yeah. like to keep our guns in our houses. We don't take it outside. I tell you this story, which is the funniest thing. I really got scared. It was like three years ago when I went to Texas, Dallas specifically. I was there for a day or two. We're about to walk into this restaurant and I never seen signs outside the restaurant saying you can't bring your guns in. Yes. And I saw that sign, and I'm like, I was free for for my life. I'm like, what's going on here? They're they're telling people to leave your guns outside, so we don't get those. Like for people in LA, we don't get signs like that. So it was a little bit shocking for me. But y'all do it y'all different. Are friendlier. Uh, when, I, <laughs> when I went to LA for the BET Awards, I noticed the people were way friendlier. It was a way faster pace. Like. <laughs> <laughs> to keep Definitely. up with people. Yeah, so y'all don't have time to even think about foolishness, to be honest, because you're going so fast. I you got a lot of stuff to take care of, exactly. You got businesses to run. That's what it is. Exactly. Listen, thank you so much. I appreciate your time being here. Definitely, you and I are going to collaborate. Hopefully, we get to do more. Yes, thank you. Bye, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.